just want to take a take a minute to speak to possibly needing to change your coil spring depending on your rider weight whether you're a little bit lighter than the rider we used for this situation or a little bit heavier there's many spring options to really get you dialed in there we're going to use our five millimeter allen off of our three-way we're going to loosen and remove this lower rear shock bolt and then subsequently the upper trunnion bolt. So there will be one on the non-drive side here and then one on the drive side. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. So as we remove this bolt, one thing we want to make sure we do is hang on to the shock before we remove that bolt. The reason why we do this is just to ensure the shock doesn't come flying out and swing down and hit and damage your, your frame. It's definitely not something you want on a brand new bike. All right, so now that we have the shock on the workbench, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna loosen and remove our coil spring. So we're gonna start that by just simply turning the coil to help loosen the, the uh, spring collar. And from this point, flip the shock upside down, let that coil rest down. Then you'll notice a slit here in the lower shock spring plate. So what we're gonna do is simply push this down, make sure it's disengaged from the coil spring, and then we will slide it back out. Set that off to the side. We'll remove our coil spring. Then we'll go ahead and put our replacement coil spring on. Again, just in reverse order, so spring on, and then we will put our lower spring plate on the same way it came off. And then we'll hold everything in place, flip the shock back over, and again, in reverse pattern, we'll screw the spring, the upper spring plate down to the coil spring. Till it just starts to bite the coil and then there's no movement. So at this point, our spring preload is at zero. Now we know from previous discussions, our minimum spring preload is 1.5. So what we'll wanna do is start at that 1.5 turns. Coil is reinstalled. We can go ahead and reinstall this onto the bike. All right, so as we come back over to the bike, we'll go in reverse order. So we're gonna go ahead and take our shock. We're going to align the threaded portion of our upper shock with the trunnion bolts of the frame here. Let's get that aligned. It's always good to start these by hand. Just go in two turns. Then something we wanna make sure is always on the shock under reinstallation is our hardware spacers. So one will go on each side of the hardware. You can simply hold it with your index finger and your thumb and just simply slide it. Take our shock bolt, slide that in. Then again, we'll take our five millimeter. Because we have limited access to hand tighten with our fingers, we will go ahead and start the threads very gently with our five millimeter Allen. Snug that down and then we'll come back up to our upper trunnion shock bolts. All right, so we have our torque wrench set to 16 newton meters. Right, starting with the rear. Two clicks, come back to the top. Two clicks, and then again to the drive side. If you have any further questions on setup, um, feel free to reach out. We're more than happy to help get you dialed in. Um, go enjoy your ride.